What's up everybody, this is Ultima Eye Device Vids, and in this video we're going to be doing a speed test between the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 8. So as of recording this video, the iPhone 8 is the oldest base model iPhone that's still supported by the latest iOS version right now, being iOS 16. And of course the iPhone 14 is the newest base model iPhone out right now. Making these videos comparing Apple's oldest supported iPhones to their newest iPhones is a tradition on this channel, so let's jump right Right in. Just to let you guys know, both devices are running at their peak performance capability in regards to their battery health. They're also both running the latest version of iOS 16 as of recording this video. And we're going to kick things off with some app launching tests. So we're going to start off with some simple light applications that a lot of people use throughout their day. And of course, the iPhone 14 is faster, but for these simple applications like these, it's only, you know, a split second difference for the most part, maybe maximum a one second difference. And this is something that you probably wouldn't even notice in day-to-day -day life. And as I've said in numerous recent videos, Apple Silicon processors have gotten very powerful over the past few years to the point where comparing, you know, an iPhone that was released five years ago, like the iPhone 8 here, to a new iPhone is going to be more or less a negligible difference for day-to-day -day tasks, certainly when it comes to app launch times like this. And this is great to see because it future-proofs iPhones for many years to come. And this in combination with Apple's great track record for giving iPhones software update support for many years makes it so when you buy a new iPhone you're confident that it's going to be a good investment if you plan on keeping it for several years. And as we start to get into some of the slightly heavier game applications a little bit of a bigger difference starts to show as usual but it's still within just a few seconds. So again I don't think this is anything that you'd really ever notice in day-to-day -day life. The iPhone 8 is closely following behind the iPhone 14 just by a few seconds. And next we're going to launch up PUBG here which is one of the heavier game applications that we're testing. But even with PUBG, the difference between the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 14 is still just a few seconds. The margin between them is definitely widest for the heavier applications like this, but again, still a very minor difference. And I really think this is a testament to what I said earlier, just the fact that Apple Silicon processors over the years are just continuing to get more and more advanced and more and more future-proof. And next up, we're going to launch up Asphalt 9, another pretty heavy game application. But again, just a few seconds difference. I remember Asphalt 9 taking much longer to load on iPhones just a few years older than the iPhone 8. So it's nice to see that steady improvement in processing power over the years add up. And after this, next up, we're just going to launch a few stock applications, really just to drive the point home that, again, for these light applications like this, it's going to be a imperceivable difference, just maximum a split second or so. So pretty impressive performance on account of both devices so far. Next up, we're going to do a consecutive app launching test. So I'm going to be launching the very same set of applications consecutively, one after the next on both of these devices. And I'm going to show both devices doing this side by side so you can get an idea of what it's like switching between applications in fast succession on these devices. And starting off here, basically for the most part, the same trends that we saw in the previous app launching test are also shown here. With the iPhone 14 being a little bit ahead of the iPhone 8, but with the iPhone 8 just lagging behind a few seconds, closely following behind the iPhone 14. This goes for the later applications towards the beginning, but even as we start to get into some of these slightly heavier game applications, the same trends continue, with the iPhone 8 just being a few applications behind the iPhone 14. As I always like to mention in its speed test videos, of course, when we're comparing two devices side by side like we're doing in this video, you're going to notice these minor differences. But in day-to-day -day life, just going about your business, you're probably not going to notice differences as small as, you know, one to four seconds. So that's definitely something to keep in mind when watching videos like this. But anyways, we're just going to go ahead and speed through the remainder of the consecutive app launching test. And directly following the consecutive app launching test, I'm just going to go back and cycle through all these applications that we just launched a second time, just to check which applications remained open in the background as a little bit of a RAM management check. And no surprise, the iPhone 14 was able to keep every single application open in the background. The iPhone 8, however, was only able to keep some applications open, including Instagram,
Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Gmail, and Chrome. Every other application, it did have to be fully reloaded. And this doesn't come as a surprise considering the iPhone 14 has six gigabytes of RAM and the iPhone 8 has two gigabytes of RAM. So there was bound to be a difference here. Next, we're gonna do a biometrics test, of course, using Face ID on the iPhone 14 and Touch ID on the iPhone 8. And both unlocking mechanisms blazing fast. However, many people prefer Touch ID because it is easier to activate. With Face ID, you have to be, you know, at a certain angle in front of the phone. Obviously, if your phone's sitting on a table, it's gonna be easier to unlock it with Touch ID versus having to lean over it with Face ID. So hopefully someday we see Touch ID return to the iPhone. And real quick, I just wanna load a few web pages in Safari. Of course, you should keep in mind that tests like this largely depend on the internet connection that you're using. But as you can see here, in terms of web page loading speeds, very quick on both devices, nothing to complain about at all. I just loaded up a few web pages on google.com and a few web pages on apple.com. And in terms of scrolling smoothness, not just in Safari when web browsing, but everywhere in iOS, both devices are gonna be very smooth. Animations and scrolling is something that Apple is notoriously good at in iOS. Both devices' displays have a max refresh rate of 60 hertz, so they're pretty similar in this regard. Of course, it can also depend on the type of web page or content that you're scrolling through. And lastly, I wanna run a Geekbench test. And as to be expected, with four generations in between these two iPhones, there's a pretty substantial difference in the numbers. So as you guys have seen throughout this video, the iPhone 8 still holds up incredibly well in 2022, going into 2023 in terms of speed and performance for day-to-day -day tasks. As always with older technology, it's going to be a little bit slower than the newest model, but not really anything that's going to impact you in any significant way. Honestly, the biggest complaint I hear from iPhone 8 users is not the speed and performance, it's the battery life. So depending on how you use your phone, you might have an issue with the battery life, but in terms of just the speed and performance, as you've seen throughout this video, it's pretty impressive if you ask me. If you guys are using the iPhone 8 or the iPhone 14, let me know down below in the comments section how the speed and performance has been for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.